Hey team, Paul Week here and welcome to a new series on this channel and as you maybe can see from the title or the thumbnail, the squad it's the name of it, where we're going to go through some players that we want to or a team that I want to build around so yeah hopefully you'll like this series we'll do one every week hopefully every Thursday but we'll see when it will be out there will be at least one episode a week so tell me if there is a player or a squad you want me to try out today as you maybe know it is the 250k Carlos Tevez squad I really like Carlos Tevez he is a very very good player in this FIFA so hopefully you'll like this team it is a bit expensive but it's just been uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday so prices are a bit low now and hopefully you packed some of these players so let's go into the team a very 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 nice team here we start at the back Buffon is the goalkeeper you have opportunities with uh, Sirigu as well but I think Buffon is a better goalkeeper actually um, and when it comes to the defense in front of Buffon it's Kealini and Thiago Silva both of them are so freaking good the work rates are a bit yeah on uh, Thiago Silva you kind of want him to be low and not high when it comes to attacking work rate but otherwise he's perfect of course the strolling here with Aurier a very very solid pacey um, right back there that will do the job for you he is both attacking and um, very defensive so he will go on attack so maybe you want him to stay back if you feel that he'll go too much out of position on the other side of course Alexandro he is so freaking good he is one of my favorite left backs in this game and he is just freaking perfect when you move up to the midfield, of course, Paul Pogba with the strong legs on those four. You have to have him. He is just, whew, he is very, very good. Of course, linking up with the Frenchman in the middle, Blaise Matuidi. Very, very good. Very good defensively and uh, will do the job at the midfield for you, that's for sure. And then it is Pastora to get that sweet link up to Tevez. He is also, he's very good. Some people say that he's not that good, but in my opinion, he is very, very good. Really like to use him. Tall player that can get the ball from, um, from set pieces and stuff like that. So a very good player in my opinion. So to the camp position, we have Angel Di Maria. His stats looks very good. I, I really, really like him, actually. His work rate is good, skill move is, is very good, and uh, maybe the weak foot is a little bit too low. As you can see there, I have played eight games and scored two goals and one assist, so uh, he is very good. Sometimes it's just, just me, actually, so yeah. Up front, we have Debala, of course. I really like this card. Pacey, good shooting. The only thing that is bad with this card is his weak foot and that he has a medium work rate with attacking. That's kind of, yeah, maybe a little bit physical as well. But if you get an inform card, they are very, very, very good. And of course, our main man, Carlos Tevez. Look at those stats. Holy crap. It is perfect. He is so freaking good. Pacey, strong, good dribbling. Too bad he has 3 star skill moves, but still, I freaking love to use him. As you can see, I haven't scored too many goals with him, but he is very good. I really, really like him. Oh, of course, there are other options that we have on the bench. If you want to use more of a Italian side, you can use Draiman there and maybe move a little bit of Marquisio and stuff like that. Depends how really you, how you want it. Uh, Miranda could be good as well. Then you have a, a strong link there from Brazil as well. I was maybe thinking about doing Pereira as a cam, of course, but um, I feel like Di Maria will maybe do the better job there. Even though this Pereira card is, it is so freaking good. It's worth trying out. High high, weak foot is good. Skill moves is good. He is, uh, he looks very good. Of course, if you're going to play 4-3-3 um, three, three, that a lot of you guys are playing, use Lavesi because he is good. Actually, last year I didn't like him at all, but this year he's a lot better. Uh, 
maybe it is because of the pace stuff and that isn't too good this year but yeah he's very good this year and of course then you use it to your best well because holy crap he is he is so freaking good he is just perfect then of course you can get a uh, kursva if you want to change side and you want to use him as a left back he has now two informs so if you have your hand on one of his inform cards 100% move over the sides and use Kozva. He is just freaking amazing. And if you don't like Debala, of course, Higuain, he also has two informs, so he is also a very, very good striker to have. I think that will be all for today, guys. Um, maybe I will show you gameplay from the next squad I'm making. Hopefully, you will like this uh, new series that I'm doing. Tell me in the comments down below which player you want me to base a squad around or if you have a team put the link to the foot um, foothead or foot whiz so I can watch that team and review it because I really want to see how you're playing or how your uh, squad building is. Uh, I really like making squad that's why I really love the draft mode because you have to you, you can try so many crazy stuff and I love it. So yeah, that would be all for today guys. Hope you liked this episode. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Povic and I'm out.